<laughs> Hi everyone. Oh my goodness. Uh-huh. What was y'all doing out there? Huh? What was you doing there? <laughs> They're getting to where they can get around all of this jungle stuff pretty good. Chloe, get off of him. That's my... Hi. Aw, oh, poor G.I. Joe. Poor G.I. Joe. Girls, settle down. I got carried away with stuff in the house. My husband got home tonight. And the dogs were outside while I was taking care of a lot of stuff inside. Quit it. Hey. <laughs> oh, I had to take Joey to the vet earlier today. You have to let him go. Oh. oh, they're picking on him big time. All right, I'm fixing to get you girls. Quit it. Ray Ray, that's enough. Poor G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, he got shots today. You quit picking on him, Ray Ray. You get her. Don't let her do that. Ray Ray, hey, I'm going to get you. Now you stop that. You stop it. Leave him alone. Candy? <laughs> oh, they're as rotten as they can be this whole week. What's today? Wednesday. Well, three days so far, they have just been wild. And I really think this has a lot to do with it. There's just, my husband fished out their water tank. It's severely bent, but it's holding water and Ray Ray and Delilah are enjoying it. Sheba. Oh, Ray Ray. But I think all this mess out here is the reason they have been so wild. Just something different they know isn't quite right and they're taking advantage. <clears throat> Yesterday they ran out the door, ran down to that little white house and then that little blue house down there ran all around the house two or three times and then all ran right back and right back into our house <laughs> and they've been acting like that a lot just all rowdy picking on each other hey girls i got a feeling that we have hormone season happening it's about two weeks before Sheba is ready to start getting ready. And then Ray Ray right behind that. So maybe that's what some of this is. Candy and Chloe are, should be getting ready for their first season. And that's just going to be a whole lot of fun. Everybody but Delilah <laughs> has raging hormones. Uh, you wild dogs. <laughs> oh. I'll be glad when we can get all of this cleaned up and out of the yard. I don't think that right there will be quite so much fun. Boy, Jericho just broadsided her. Hey, you guys, get over here. Hey, Ray Ray, Jericho. Chloe, Candy, you better behave. I had to stop sewing last night and go in the living room with them and, and get them lined out because they were acting just like this in the house, and I don't go for that. That's why I let them outside so they can do this and burn off the energy. And Delilah was getting in trouble because she was doing that. She was correcting everybody, and I was like, you don't need to do that. You're just making it worse. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, they're just a handful last few days. Joey did good on his checkup. He got his puppy number three, and they went ahead and gave him his rabies. He still has to go back in three weeks for puppy number four, and then he'll be good for a year. He'll be fully vaccinated for a year. Jericho? You're breathing kind of hard. What's up with that? You're getting too rowdy, aren't you? 
And anyway, they're just being very ornery. There's this, it's days like this, I feel outnumbered. <laughs> but, Ray Ray, just don't eat the tree. I talked with the uh, insurance people again today. I had been told, Monday, quit that, Monday when I contacted them that there would be an adjuster here within two days. So that's now. And today they called and to tell me that it's going to be three weeks or longer before an adjuster gets to come out. So I'm like, well, I don't know if there'll be anything left for you to see. And she said, uh, as long as I had plenty of videos and pictures, quit eating the tree. Stop it. No. That is bad. Don't do that. No. Candy, quit it. So we'll probably have all this cleaned up long before we see the insurance people they have they're bringing other agents from other states into this area because there's so many claims in this area quit it i just talked to a friend of mine and she said her insurance company they don't even have the adjusters now they're using contractors and just taking their word for the damages so they're making the uh, contractors who are coming out to repair people's homes and and property the actual they're making them to be the adjuster for their companies so it's just been crazy around and i hate it but we have all this still needs to get done and they said we have bad weather moving in again tonight that it'll be here all weekend so I don't know how much we'll get cleaned up, but I'm hoping that it'll miss us and we'll have time to get out here and uh, keep getting this stuff out of the yard. I really don't like the dogs out here chewing on it and eating it like they are. The running and playing is fun to watch, but there's a lot of hazards right here too. I mean, I don't want anyone to put an eye out or get scratched in any way. <laughs> Joey, look at you, you big boy. <laughs> he fell off. <laughs> but anyway, I'm probably just worried. They're doing good. They've been out here playing around it, what, three days now or four? They came in on Sunday, and this is Wednesday. I thought it would be good for the teething. <laughs> oh, my. They're just a bunch of wild hooligans. But anyway, that's what they're doing. Just being wild. Testing all of the boundaries. <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> they, they think they're wild. That's what this has done. This has brought out a wild instinct in them. <clears throat> Joey, even you. I've decided to call him my little G.I. Joe man. He's a G.I. Joe. Yes, you are. You're my G.I. Joe boy. He rode over in the car with me just fine and uh, took his shots like a big boy and slept all the way home. So he did really good. I was proud of him. Anyway, I think it's time to get them rounded up and in the house. Get this eating trees over with. Say good night, G.I. Joe. Say good night. Hey, good night. <laughs>